Hi, my name is Adam Bainsky of the Keyens Corporation. Today I'm excited to introduce the all new FDQ series flow sensor. We're going to take a look at just how quickly and easily this sensor can be integrated into your existing system. First, in taking a look at it, we need to look at product selection. As we can see here, we have four different models. The small size starts with the ability to attach to a quarter inch pipe. We range all the way up to the ability to attach to a two inch pipe. When picking out the right product, that's all that really matters. The reason why is because the sensor has the ability to detect deionized water, oil, and most chemicals. In addition to that, it has the ability to mount to stainless steel pipes, iron pipes, copper pipes, and resin pipes, so that's not really a factor as well. So in this case, we're using a 3 inch, 3 8 inch pipe, so let's take a look at using this one and how to attach it and integrate it into our system. When you open the box of the FDQ, you're going to find three parts. You're going to find the sensor, the top bracket, and the bottom bracket. Integrated into the top bracket are four securing screws. And with that, they're basic screws, so the only thing needed is a screwdriver for installation. There's no need for any special knowledge, no special skill, and no special tools. Also, because this sensor simply clamps onto the external part of the pipe, there's no need to worry about any form of downtime due to installation or maintenance. So let's take a look at how to install the sensor into our system. To install the FDQ onto our pipe, we're going to take the top bracket, we're going to locate it onto the pipe, we'll then take our bottom bracket and match up the screws, then simply take our screwdriver and attach our four screws. Once the bracket is secured to the pipe, we'll then take the sensor and we can see that there are screws on either side of the sensor and they mate up to the bracket. You can mount the sensor in either orientation that you'd like. We're going to choose this orientation. We simply attach it to the bracket and secure it with the screws. Once the sensor is attached, that's all there is to it. We're going to take our power cord and we'll attach it to the M12 connector onto the sensor. So once the sensor has been attached to our pipe and we've applied our M12 cable, we'll apply power to the sensor. And as you can see in a few short minutes, the sensor is quickly installed and integrated in our system without any downtime, without any worry about shutting down our process. Let's take a look at the system running now with the sensor. With the sensor installed on the system and liquid flowing through our pipes, we're able to see that it quickly detects and displays the current flow rate. So as you saw today, we're able to take the sensor from the box and integrate it into our system very quickly. To learn more about the FDQ series, please visit us at keyins.com.